welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio is Jordan Sanders, co-founder of Hollow Sands Luxury Limousines. Jordan, welcome to the show. Thanks, Fran. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I almost wish that we were doing this interview inside one of your limo buses mm -hmm. because you have some really cool, I won't even say cars, it's really cool limos. Yes. Um, let's, let's just dive in. I mean, I know the viewers can't see a picture, mm -hmm. but why don't you describe some of the really transportation that's part of your fleet? We have um, what you were in. Right. It was a uh, Sprinter van, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, when you walk in, the experience is when you step in, the experiences that we uh, went after to try and create was one that uh, allowed you to step away from your daily activities of the uh, daily chaos mm -hmm. and into uh, just a pleasurable, relaxed, fun, exciting environment. Right. Now that Sprinter bus was mm -hmm. the one that actually had, it can have special lighting, um, there's all sorts of seats, right. there's entertainment, and that bus fi fits how many people? Uh, a total of 11, 11. in the rear. Yeah, uh, so kind of intimate yeah. yes, um, and very. fun. And We've found fun. most of our groups are uh, of that size, anywhere mm -hmm. from you know, 7 to 11, mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. So they're becoming uh, ever more popular. And so bridal pa uh, parties, um, corporate events, right. um, we use that to sort of head off to Xfinity Live and hang out for drinks and conversation. Right. Yeah. Which I won't go into detail. Uh, <laughs> I won't divulge any uh, information. <laughs> right, that was shared, but, but, right? Yeah, right, that was right. Shared. But yeah, th those, uh, that particular vehicle is nice because we can also use it for corporate. Mm -hmm. And we can adjust the lights to where at night is a party van, mm -hmm. uh, and during the day with the white lights only is uh, just strictly corporate. Corporate vehicle. And so it really works uh, both ways. Right, right. I love it. Hollow Sands Luxury Limousines. How did you come up with that name? So when we um, got together, me and my partner, mm -hmm. uh, trying to figure out names, uh, everyone has... Uh, something along the lines of travel or, uh, you know, quickness, you mm -hmm. know, road, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just wanted something different. Mm -hmm. And so we just um, put our two names together, Sean mm -hmm. Holloway, Jordan Sanders. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we came up with that. And, you know, when we sounded it out, uh, you know, everybody had the question, like, what is that? Right, right. Nobody could pronounce it. <laughs> and, you know, in some ways, that's what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it, it drew uh, attention. And, mm -hmm. you know, with people asking the question, like, what is that or how do you pronounce it? You know, it uh, it just creates some awareness. Right. And uh, conversation and conversation. Right. Right. Well, let's have a conversation. Um, you are an entrepreneur and you have a partner. What was the moment that sort of led you to say, I want to I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to have this business. Um, and I want to have a partner. I mean, many of the entrepreneurs who are on the program, you know, they start it and they build a team, but they don't necessarily um, have a business partner. Well, uh, I've always wanted to be in business uh, for myself from the time I was uh, 22 years old. Okay. Uh, left my house, started uh, bartending. And I uh, mm -hmm. realized uh, after working three jobs uh, at the same time, I just didn't want to do that. Okay. I didn't see a path forward there. And, uh, you know, I have a, a hard time uh, taking direction if I think that <laughs> no. I can go in another direction. <laughs> so I said the only way I'm going to uh, be happy is if I just do it myself. Mm -hmm. um, but I did meet my partner. Uh, and then at that time, we had discussed it because we were both in transportation, mm -hmm. uh, driving limousines, and we had thought uh, going into the industry that we both had an interest in going into, which is corporate, that, you know, it's a 24-7 operation. Yeah. So if we combine forces uh, along with our work ethics and our habits, 
we should uh, be very successful at it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it would be easier on both of us. Mm -hmm. Because the, the key with that was, and that whole strategy behind it is, you, you do need personal time. Mm -hmm. So we were able to really manage now, at this point, our, our personal time, get it to the point to where we actually do have some time off. Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to you know, starting it yourself, which you can do. Right. Uh, you know, you can build your team and you can do it that way, but we chose that, uh, a different path mm -hmm. that has uh, really worked out for both of us. Well, I know viewers are now curious, um, sort of what's your motto, what's your value system, what makes Hollow Sands Luxury Limousines different? Well, we, um, when we started out, I, coming from a background of, uh, a service background, uh, you know, working in high-end hotels, um, that's the direction I wanted to go in. Uh, where we're located in Philadelphia, we saw a real need for a luxury brand. Um, you know, anyone can have a vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, we can all go out and buy the same cars. We can all go out and buy the same SUVs. We can all go out and buy the same Sprinter vans. But what really makes the difference is the service and, and, and how the service is delivered. And that's what really makes your brand. It's not the vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the service. It's uh, how your team delivers the service. And that's what you're known by, and that's where your business is going to live or die by. Mm -hmm. And if you create your brand, which is your service brand, uh, you know, you're going to get repeat business, the ones who want the service. Right. So let's, let's even get more specific. Who are some of the clients that over time you've built up and or the type of clients that come back to you on a regular basis and that you're really proud to serve in a way that makes them continue to come back? Some of our uh, corporate clients um, were, were, came to us through building relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, but from there, it, again, it goes back to the service and it goes back to the, the hands-on and the personal connection. Mm. So. Uh, any one of our clients uh, can call me uh, any day or night at any time wow. with uh, any problems, any suggestions, anything at all. And they know that. So we've built a personal connection. So we personally know all of our clients. Mm -hmm. uh, and we make it a point to know all of our clients. Uh, you know, first time clients, we make it a point to know that they are appreciated mm -hmm. uh, and that we want to know who they are. Um, and once you develop a, a very personal connection and, and interaction, uh, you know, they are much more loyal. It becomes less uh, of an issue of price mm -hmm. uh, and just they want to do business with you. People mm -hmm. do business with people they know and people they trust. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, so as your business grows and uh, you're, as you mentioned, located in Philadelphia, um, where's the farthest that you sort of serviced a customer? I mean, do you just stay in the Philadelphia area or do you see yourself branching out nationally? Well, we have a, a large affiliate network. So mm -hmm. if one of our clients calls and says, hey, he's going to be in uh, Los Angeles, he needs a ride from Los Angeles airport to uh, LAX airport, mm -hmm. or Los Angeles hotel to LAX airport. Uh, you know, we can get them there through our affiliate network. Mm. We don't own the vehicle, but we mm -hmm. have a vetted affiliate network uh, that I've gone out and traveled and personally met 95% uh, of the affiliates that we use uh, nationwide. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other 5% come from, you know, recommendations from our trusted network. Mm -hmm. If it's an area that I just have not been in and we need to set up a ride in three hours, uh, mm -hmm. I can't go there, <laughs> right, so I need right. to rely on my network, okay. uh, and that's how we uh, handle that. Well, Jordan, the limousine personal car service business has gotten more complicated over the last few years. Um, what advice do you give folks that say, I want special service, um, almost on demand? Mm -hmm. What should they look for, and what tips do you have, you know, really being in the service industry? Well, our technology uh, is changing in this industry, it seems like, by the minute. Mm -hmm. Every day there's a new uh, device, there's a new app, there's a new way of delivering 
you know, faster technology, faster service, faster response. Mm -hmm. And so what we try and do is educate our clients that we don't have uh, 20,000 cars rolling around the street just like mm -hmm. taxi cabs to pick everybody up. Mm -hmm. And they know that. And most, most of our clients will know when they're going to travel. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very easy to set it up. We, we have an app. Uh, I think most companies today have an app, right. uh, but again, it's not just about the technology, it's about the service. So mm -hmm. we educate our clients, we can deliver faster service today, uh, we can deliver easier, uh, an easier way of whether it be payment processing or notifications, uh, mm -hmm. we can do that. Uh, mm -hmm. We are on board with the latest technology. Uh, when you know you're going to travel, set up your trip mm -hmm. and we will be there. Guaranteed, all the time, on okay. time. Okay, okay. Wow. So one of the things that I, I always kind of think about is the future is coming. And entrepreneurs have choices on what they do with their business and how they do it. When you imagine yourself five years from now, where do you want to be? in your business without yep. giving away anything mm -hmm. yep. too competitive but where do you want to be you know it's a good question we mm -hmm. have uh you know our, our industry like i said is changing so fast i mean mm -hmm. they're you know driverless cars are now here right right, right. so they're you know they're testing them out west mm -hmm. they're here uh i just read an article just the other day they're testing a driverless car in pittsburgh pennsylvania Ah, so I used to live in Pittsburgh. So they're here. <laughs> they're you know? here. Yeah. So you know there are those who predict transportation as there's going to be nothing but driverless cars. Uh, so where does that leave us? Mm -hmm. Right. So we we have a few options. Mm -hmm. We we can go that route of driverless cars like anyone else, depending on where the technology and where insurance regulations and where mm -hmm. our industry mm -hmm. goes. Um, but. What we're always going to deliver, whether someone's driving the car or not, is the service end of it. You're always going to have that personal connection with us. And there is no app or computer that's ever going to be able to give you a personal connection. Mm -hmm. uh, people are still going to need to talk to each other. What? In this day of technology? At least I think so. Maybe <laughs> kids today in school, with you. they don't... They, well, that's maybe, true. They can be right next to each other and still text texting. Each other. So, right. But I think... Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe this is, you know, old school, but I think that people are still always going to need to speak to one another. Right. And, and when they do that, you know, we're going to be there to deliver that service, however that service is delivered. Okay. Well, great. So I am, and I've, I've said so a few times, because I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm imagining that there are people who are watching and saying, I really want to get in touch with Jordan. And so I'd like to give you an opportunity to tell them how they can get in touch with you. Well, you can uh, always call our office, 215-863-1910. Mm -hmm. uh, you can always call my cell phone. How dare I say no, that? No, don't, don't give your well, cell phone. But we don't phone. want to do that. No. But uh, any, any one of our clients uh, will always have that personal connection with us and can always reach us 24-7 uh, mm -hmm. uh, just by calling that number. Great. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. It is very exciting. I love what you do. And I know that your service has transported celebrities, executives, sports figures, um, folks that are having a wedding, folks that are having a divorce, folks that just <laughs> want to get together because they do, in fact, want that special service. Right. So I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule and want to also thank you for the way that you help provide jobs and opportunities for people that might want to work part-time as well as full-time and really provide that service mm -hmm. to your customers. So thanks for yes. what you do. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, significant TV. My guest today is Jordan Sanders with Hollow Sands Luxury Limousines. I'm Fran McNeil. Join us for our next episode.